one huge contraindication that I do want to bring out for someone that may be on a full liquid diet. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified diabetes educator and owner of KimRoseDietitian.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. So today we're going to be talking about a full liquid diet. One of the questions I find myself answering a lot as a dietitian is what is allowed on a full liquid diet? So we're just going to jump right into it with the definition of a full liquid. So a full liquid consists of foods that are liquid at body temperature that provides nourishment with little stimulation of the gastrointestinal tract. Full liquid diet provides approximately 1200 calories a day and 40 grams of protein but of course the calorie and protein intake can go up depending if any type of snacks are provided in between the meals so the full liquid diet is a short-term diet and it's indicated for if anyone has an oral surgery or if they have problems chewing or swallowing or as a post-operative transitional diet. The foods that are allowed on this diet is everything that is on a clear liquid diet. So if you didn't see my video from last week on the foods that are allowed on a clear liquid diet, it is popping up now. Additional foods that are allowed on a full liquid diet includes milk products, custards, puddings, ice cream, eggnog, and other dairy products that are liquid at body temperature. One huge contraindication that I do want to bring out is if someone has a lactose intolerance, they may not be able to tolerate the full liquid diet because it does include dairy products. So guys, this is it. This is what is allowed on a full liquid therapeutic diet. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to go ahead and put them in my comment section below. As usual, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.